had this shit on all day. Let me tell you something right now. I, I, I want some receipts. Because I know damn fucking well I never asked you to be on no fucking song. And I know my label did not ask you to, for no fucking song, you little fucking weirdo. So, get the fuck out of here. Go do something with yourself. Bitch, go, go find something better to do with your life. Than talk shit. The fuck? I wanna, I wanna know. I wanna know who the fuck, who the fuck asked you for a song. Cause I know damn well it wasn't me. Weird ass fucking little boy. Not even, but you a grown ass fucking man talking shit. The fuck? I, I wasn't even gonna say nothing to you. Like, I really wasn't. I really wasn't finna do all this. I had made a joke. I made a joke. And then you took it all serious and started making up lies and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Some whack ass shit. Bitch, I'm talking about 6 9 the fuck? Bitch, don't you ever, don't ever make up lies about me. Bitch, don't ever. Don't ever make up lies about me. Don't ever do that in your life. The fuck? You got shit fucked up totally, completely, 100% fucked the fuck up. Give me my fucking phone. Bitch, talking about some I wouldn't be shit if I didn't beat my mother. Bitch, you would not be shit if Trippy didn't put you on that song with him. And no one, no one knew who the fuck Six Nine was until Pose came out, and people still don't know who the fuck, bro. And even after after Pose came out, people still didn't know who the fuck Six Nine was. The fuck? People even made edits of that song without you in it, and said the better version of Pose uh, fourteen sixty nine without fucking your little dumbass. So get the fuck out of my face. The fuck you, whack ass, fucking childish ass motherfucker. Right, bitch, you would not be shit without Trippy Red. That boy made you. The fuck? You're his fucking child. You're his son. You wanna talk shit about I wouldn't be shit without if I didn't be my mom. Bitch, you don't know half of what you fucking talking about. But everybody in their fucking mother knows damn well you would not be shit without Trippy. The fuck? Trippy even gave you the beat to Gummo, so get the fuck out of my face. I don't give a fuck if he big on billboards, the fuck? That don't mean nothing. That don't mean a goddamn fucking thing. <coughs> the fuck? Bitches got like fucked up completely all the way. Damn fucking right. Exactly. Exactly, the fuck? <sighs> Bitches want to get up and want to start talking shit about some. I denied this girl a song and now she's mad. She blew up for beating her mom. Go tell her to stop hitting her mom. The fuck? Get the fuck out of my face. Bitch, you don't know nothing. You don't know what the fuck you talk about. Get the fuck out of my face. Frank, let me tell you what you missed. So I went and made a fucking joke on Twitter talking about some. Someone had said, I don't even remember. I don't even remember because it wasn't even that serious. Someone had said, oh, I'm here for the song with 6 9 and Bad Baby. And I said, um, or some, some shit like that. And I said, only if it's a restraining order or some, some, I don't even fucking remember. And then fucking, he went, he went to posting about some. He posted a video of me outside the Gucci store, um, outside the Gucci store. Saying, um, saying I don't fuck with 6 9 but I fuck with his music. The fuck? And that is true. Not, now, not no more. Bitch, you'll never hear me playing one of them whack-ass songs ever again. The fuck? Yes, now your shit is whack because you're a whack-ass fucking person. And I knew you was a whack-ass person to begin with, but I still listen to your shit because why fucking not? Because, bitch, I could do that. Because I fucking, whoever I listen to, whoever the fuck I want to, whether I like the person or not. But bitch, then you want to go talking about some. Then he posted a video on me outside the Gucci store saying, I don't fuck with him, I fuck with him, blah, blah, blah. And then he posted it saying, I denied this girl a song, and now she mad, LOL. She blew up for beating her mom. Go tell her to stop hitting her mom. Bitch, you know what I can tell you to go stop doing, but I ain't that type of person. So get the fuck out of my face. Bro, I'm really mad. I shouldn't even be mad about this. Fuck, worry about some rainbow-headed ass fucking... Ugh, let me stop. Cause I'm gonna start saying some shit I shouldn't be saying, and then it's gonna start some real problems. It's gonna start some real problems. Let me tell you right now, it's gonna start some real fucking problems. 
fucking weirdos. There's so much shit you done did in your fucking career to make yourself look stupid. Are you talking about me? Get the fuck out of my face. How many times did you did you stage dive and then fucking fuckers didn't catch your weak ass? Huh? How many times, huh? Exactly. Fuck, I can name multiple artists who know the real you. Bitch, hold on. What did what, uh, Squid Nice was telling me how all that shit... You was a fucking... You was a fucking... What's it called? You was a fucking... Uh, a director. A fucking director talking about some stand over there, stand over here, do this, do that with your little fucking list bags. Get the fuck out of my face. Finna do all this bullshit with you. The fuck? Everybody know the real you? Bitch, you don't, you don't know what you fucking talking about talking about me. Hello? Isaac. I see your comments, but I'm ignoring them. <laughs> okay, well, can you let me finish? Thank you. I'll call you back. This fucker calls me talking about some. Do you see my comments, dude? Hey, right? This little fucker. Go back and pull it out. Oh, go back to Full of House. You're hired for Full of House season fucking three. Oh, I can't stand weirdos. Like, get the fuck out of my face, you weird ass motherfucker. I will ruin your whole life. I will ruin your whole life and everybody in your life. The fuck, I'll ruin everything. I'll ruin everything for you. You're scary. You're a pussy. You got beat up at the airport. You'll never go see nobody in person because you're a scary ass bitch. Scary ass, little ass boy. Ain't nobody worry about you, the fuck? Fucking weirdos. You lucky I got time, I don't got nothing to do. And I'm sick as fuck and I'm still running my mouth cause why not? Fuck. Bitch ain't finna tell me nothing, the fuck? Weird ass. Talking about some she beat up her mom. That's what's so funny. You're telling me I got famous for one reason, which isn't even a real reason. It ain't even a real reason. But I can tell you how you got famous off of other people's shit. Talk about me, the fuck? And you ain't never gonna do that in your life. And that's why it was a post and a delete. My tweet is still up there, bitch. And I'm doing this, I will say your name 55 motherfucking million times. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I will come to Brooklyn, I will come to your house, I'll make sure Frank beats up you and everybody around you, the fuck? What's up, fams? We gotta talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Oh, man, this is getting good. I was out getting something to eat with the fam. I had to come home to make this video. Let's talk about it. Can I get a doctor? <laughs> Didn't 6 9 say that in one of his songs, man? Like, we may have to get a doctor. I kept trying to tell 6 9 through my last video. I said, please, please. Actually, I didn't say please. I said, stay away from the kids, man. Leave Danielle Bergoli alone. She is not the one to mess with, man. Now, I've done many of videos on Danielle Bergoli. I know her too well when it comes to to this beef stuff, man. Now, she's not gonna shy away from anyone. I don't care if it's Malu, well, Vicky, and now I'm seeing her drag you. Now, in this situation, right, we got a girl that's 15 years old, you're 21 years old. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when Danny Obergoli comes after you? Now, we all know what this situation is of, right? Danny Obergoli, she was like joking. She was asked something on the street about working with 6 9 right? And she said that she liked his music. She thought the interview that he had with Charlemagne was funny, but she didn't really like him as a person. Now, that was that. Now, 6 9 he took offense to that. He took so much offense to that that he went at her and he said, look, you got famous for beating your mom, okay? He said that she's just mad at him because she wanted a song from him and he told her no. She's saying, look, 
None of that happened. I never wanted a song from this dude. My people never wanted a song from this dude. And in fact, how about you show the paperwork or show any kind of proof that my people or me ask you to work now isn't that funny the situation right mr paperwork who would always tell other people to show paperwork i don't think six nine is going to present any kind of paperwork man i think he knew he can slide that little bitty lie in and some people would believe it now she went off at that point what is six nine going to do in this situation what is he going to tell her to test his gangsta? i mean she would actually do it she would actually pull up to brooklyn in the slums or wherever you at with her bodyguard named Frank, and you would have a good old one-on-one. Here's the thing. I think 6 9 is realizing that he made a mistake even entertaining this whole situation because now, if he responds, I'm letting you guys know right now, she's going to pull it out the bag. And I think we all know what I'm talking about. She's going to pull up them allegations. She's going to start calling you all kinds of names. And now it's going to have you looking real silly. I'm just letting you know right now, you might want to back off of this one, man. This is a mud fight that I think you're not going to win. You're not going to be Danielle Bergoli in a goddamn mud fight. What do you, what can you say to her? You can't really curse her out. You can't tell her you're going to run down on her. What are you going to do? What can a 20 year old man like 6'9 say to Daniel Bergoli that's going to make him win this situation? Now, I saw people in my comments say, yo, this is not a beef. This is not a beef. Okay. Tell that to Daniel Bergoli because she clearly feels a way about this. And I told you guys this was going to happen. I guess you guys didn't see that it was going to come to this. I told you this was going to happen. Anyway, you guys let me know in the comment section below. 6ix9ine, stay away from the kids, especially Danielle Bagoli, man. She's going to drag you like she did Malu.